Hey, ladies and gents. Um, basically, I'm doing a review here. I just picked up recently a, a camcorder, or dash cam, I should say. Actually, it, it's one from uh, Yasun. Uh, it's called the Yasun Driving Recorder, Video Recorder. Basically, this guy here, along with a 64 gigabyte Lexar, which I actually picked up here. They suggested the class one, but I'm using class two for the time being for the recordings. It does 1080p both front and in interior. And basically, I'm basically going to be testing this here out. It's because I'm doing some video recordings where I'm actually going outside. And I wanted to show like the destinations where I'm going or just driving around in general uh, for some video footage. And I basically do have this here opened up just to see what it looks like. Which gives you this little guy here. Which gives you the one for the outside along with the one in the interior with the menuing system. It comes with a little clean, clean, lens for cleaning along with an SD card, uh, SD card reader, micro SD. And a little flip thing there for the, uh, what's called the wiring comes with an SD card connection here to connect it up so you can transfer the video suction cup and the actual power bar power connection to hook up to your cigarette lighter so we're actually going to test this here out I'm just going to get it connected and uh, I'm actually going to do some live footage going from a, going to a couple of places uh, just for sake of sanity and being able to say yeah it records well or you know how is it doing and all that and see where it goes um, I might do a voiceover showing some of the recordings we'll see how it goes let's go actually take a look at the footage here so let's get some recordings then when I finally got Yansun's uh, dual camera dash cam here set up uh, it wasn't it was kind of straightforward it wasn't too hard too difficult to understand menu system took me a little while to get around just to get my head around it uh, because I've already dealt with several other types of uh, dash cams over the years uh, the only thing that really myth I'm not saying this is a bad way with young uh, the way they advertise the uh, display like to show picture and picture on the display screen and then what you actually get in in real life it's just two different opposites there but I don't mind that so much it's an inconvenience but it's I'm not going to bitch and complain that much resolution wise on the uh, on the cameras themselves both the first and second camera the outside facing the outside exterior uh, dash cam uh, at 1080p does a very excellent job I find uh, I've took some actual live footage as you can see here in this video. I sped it up a little bit, not too, too much. Not so that it's zipping by and you can't see clearly enough, but just enough to make it a little interesting to see. Uh, as well as, I've taken some inside shots as well, but it's me smoking. I don't want you to see that. You don't want to see my ugly mugs hacking in, uh, hacking in smoke here. Uh, but. Setting the resolution up to 1080p is great. I'll probably more likely be using this when I do my uh, traveling stuff, like if I'm going to do other videos, like uh, as an example, to uh, head to a conference or something, or to a what they call is a convention that's close by. So might as well take the trip down together and use part of that footage within the within the video itself. Uh, configuration wise it will take an actual 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD card it has to be class 10 or cla the highest class possible the fastest one and that for the fact is is that you can record up to six to seven hours on one end micro SD card 32 will probably get you maybe three or four hours depending on the card that you get I usually stick with Kingston which is never much of a problem and they're usually at a good price, depending where you go. Uh, 64 gigabytes should be more than enough for anybody to record both inside the inside camera and the front camera. Uh, 
this is one of those types that I would suggest, yes, this is great, especially for people like Uber, who are, who are taxi services, and for people like you and myself, who tend to do a lot of driving, or tend to do a lot of, uh, you know, going to and from work, or being tech support on the road, this will definitely help you out, because it's a second set of eyes that the police can actually use, even up here in Canada. Uh, this here, I would definitely suggest for about 60 or 70 bucks. It's not too, too expensive. Uh, it may be slightly inconvenient regarding uh, having something like this because you have to, you know, either plug it in, keep it plugged in and have it wired to the electrical system or to the uh, cigarette lighter like I have here. I'm using, basically using the cigarette lighter for this test. And uh, the thing is, uh, it's not so bad. It took a little time getting the data off from the micro SD card, which is not, not, not much of a big deal because I was actually using that for editing. But overall, uh, I would definitely suggest this for other people to have in their uh, thing there for the car. So if you have a chance to get it, you'll get it. So that's basically about it. And this is definitely I got off this year off of Amazon. So it's a good buy in comparison with some of the other local. Uh, dash cams you can get on, uh, you know, like your local dealership or anything like that. Some of them are way too expensive and just, I don't get the money. And some of them are just too, too, too basic and eh, you get what you pay for. This is one of those you get what you pay for, but yet it does the job. Okay? So that's basically about it. Um, I give this an 8 out of 10 uh, just because the mentoring system I'm not used to yet, but it's just, just a matter of time. But overall, you can, you can live with that. That's basically about it.